Yeah, How to Disappear is a story of three people. They're all struggling to get through life and they're thrust together into quite a difficult situation where they have to learn to cope with one another and then suddenly a quite fantastical event happens which makes them reassess the way in which they live their lives. I was inspired to write How to Disappear because of the Conservative government's complete reassessment of the incapacity and income support benefits. It's really about austerity and how victims of it are the, are the ones that have the least. I'm Sally Reid and I play Jessica in How to Disappear and I am a benefits assessor coming to assess the benefits of a new client, Robert. Robert has not left his room in about 12 years, hasn't left his house in about 20 years. And so when we meet him for the first time, he's sort of holed up in his room. They're trying to work out how to get their father back from somewhere. That will give too much away. <laughs> because he can't leave his room, Isla's had to do everything for him, as well as go to school. And the benefits assessor is coming round. Say no more. And then you have to wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a very moving script. It's kind of got a lot of pathos about it, so it feels like the perfect story to tell at Christmas. Funny, moving, but there's real grit in it as well, which is what attracts me to it. Yeah, these are fiery characters with a lot to say about the world. Gareth has interpreted certain stage directions in a very bold and visual way, which I'm really excited to see. The three words I would use to sum up how it disappear would be a bit bonkers. A bit bonkers, I like it. Bonkers, bold, and brilliant, I'll say, <laughs> yeah. All the bees. All the bees, it's a very Robert thing to do.